Hey guys, Frozen X is here, and I'm going to start off this video by saying I'm sorry if you hear any quick audio cuts. I uh, I woke up this morning with a bit of a, I don't want to say cold, but I just have a sore throat, so if I cough or I take a drink from my water, it's just, there's going to be an audio cut. And I know there's sometimes annoying to hear, but I'm sorry, I'll do my best to blend them together so you don't notice it. But starting off, I'm going to talk about something that I really didn't plan on talking about this early. I have not gotten this many comments about a single mechanic of the game since I was getting like 25 comments a day back when the repair system was a thing of people just going, fuck this game, fuck Tarjem, fuck Gaijin, I'm, I'm not playing this game till they fix the repair system. And, you know, I, I, I thought it was bad, but Jesus, some people really took it bad. And at least in this situation, people aren't like, oh, fuck the game, they're ruining the game. They're just kind of like, yeah, they need to fine-tune this a bit more. So, let's go ahead and talk about self-destructing and suicide bombing. <laughs> but before I do that, I want to read off a comment from a fan called uh, Rip My Wallet. And he really made my day with this comment. He goes, how to use a suicide build. Point middle finger at screen, then explode. <laughs> I woke up this morning and just started laughing, because it's actually really true. All you do is just, it's just a giant fuck you to everyone. You really don't even need guns on your vehicle, but anyway, um, I'm going to read off another comment, but this one's more serious. Uh, it's by another fan, K Dryuji. I've talked about him before, still probably not pronouncing that name correct. And yes, bro, I know you're not Japanese, I know you're an American, but still, make an American name if you want me to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, uh, yeah, so, he said, Suicide Bomb seems like a big fuck you to Melee, which is not only unnecessary, but just plain wrong. And, I agree. Melee already has a counter. It is bumpers, plows, and things of those nature that, if a Meleeer hits them, they do minimal damage, and they're pretty much, you know, they have to run away then, because they're kind of stuck there on you, and they've just untriggered their chameleon, so they're in a really bad position if they hit a plow or a bumper, and you still have your guns, and are able to shoot that close to your vehicle. I think giving them another counter was kind of, well, like he said, a big fuck you in Melee. Um... There are several ways to go about fixing this, and I'm going to go over that, though, because, truthfully, I'm not going to just sit here and complain about the uh, prob or complain about the self-destruct and say, oh, it's ruining melee, it's, you know, it's making it too easy for people to just destroy melee builds if they're getting killed and things like that, it makes melee builds one-shot kit or one, you know, pretty much you get one kill and that's it, because that guy is going to almost assuredly self-destruct if you pin them against something. So, starting off on how I think this could be fixed. First of all, it takes about three seconds for self-destruct to be activated. If you didn't know, you just hold backspace and a little bar will appear on your uh, screen, or well, circle actually, and once the circle is filled, it will self-destruct your vehicle. I think the first thing that needs changed is that the uh, self-destruct should not be able to be triggered while you are moving. So if a meleeer is pushing you around while destroying your vehicle, that causes you to uh, not be able to self-destruct, and this would also force meleeers to build bigger and more powerful vehicles instead of a tiny, tiny little guy with like a couple explosive spears and a couple augers on it that can destroy a massive tank because the explosive spears are amazing and you can just finish him off with the auger. So, this would cause meleeers to not be able to build those tiny, tiny builds with like a buggy cabin and a chameleon, and that's about it. So, I think that would balance out self-destructing as well as it would balance out the uh, actual uh, melee builds, too. The other thing that I think should be done is that self-destructing, it shouldn't really have a penalty per se, but in a sense, I guess, if you self-destruct, you should uh, get less scrap reward at the end of the battle because, well, if you think about it, because you blew up your own vehicle, it would make sense for you to get less scrap. I'm not saying, like, oh, they get, like, two scrap. No, I, I think they should lose, like, maybe five to ten scrap. So it's a, it's not a significant loss, but it's a big enough loss that at least you will you won't at least see people going around suicide bombing every single time they lose their guns. I, I really think that would, you know, help that out, and it would create an incentive for you to play the objective after you lose your guns instead of just suicide bombing right away. It should be more of a last-ditch effort kind of thing. And, uh, finally, sorry if there's a cut there. I don't know if that was loud enough. You guys could even hear it. I covered my mic. 
But finally, I think uh, there should be a, like, God, this is kind of hard to explain, but I don't think you should do a massive amount of damage if you're, like, just a cabin laying on the ground. If your entire vehicle is put together, then, yeah, I think you should do a lot of damage when you suicide bomb. But if you've been, like, basically ripped apart, you have, like, maybe two of your four wheels left, you're kind of dragging on the ground, no guns, your cabin's on fire and all th things like that, I don't think you should do nearly as much damage as someone who has full health would. Based the damage that suicide bombing does off of the remaining health that your vehicle has or the remaining parts that it has, because it's a little unfair that, you know, a just if you're a little cabin stuck on the ground, you maybe have like two frame pieces and like an airplane wing on you and you lost everything else when your generator exploded, that you can pretty much demolish three enemies if, and if they're around you and you get lucky. That just doesn't make sense to me, you know? You're not... You're ba you basically lost, and you should be able to do some damage to at least, you know, be helpful to the team, but you should not be able to just murder, like, three people and take out a more, g or take out, like, anyone's guns that are around you and just pretty much immobilize vehicles when you yourself are this just immobile, on-fire piece of scrap, basically. So... I don't know how many of you are going to agree with my ideas. M many of you might just say just take self-destructing out. The game was fine before, and, you know, you guys could probably make an argument to that. But I'd really like to know what your ideas for fixing the system were. If you have any ways to improve my ideas, or you have your own ideas and think I'm completely wrong, I'd love to hear about it in the comment comments. God, can't even English. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, just thank all you for watching, and uh, hope you liked the video. If you do, you know, shoot me a like. It means a lot to a smaller channel like mine. And uh, I, I really hope you guys come back and uh, check out some of my other videos. So, peace out, and see you in the next one.